Beneath the pristine waters of Australia's coastlines lurk tales of unseen terror and survival against nature's most formidable predators. In the lands surrounded by the world's deadliest waters, shark attacks not only evoke fear, but also a morbid curiosity about the encounters between humans and these ancient creatures of the deep. From the silent, shadowy depths, these apex predators have etched their presence into Australia's maritime lore, leaving stories that chill the blood. Venture into the heart of oceanic nightmares as we uncover the five most disturbing shark attacks in Australian history, where beauty meets horror in the vast blue. Story 1 in the quiet town of Esperance, nestled along the pristine coast of Western Australia, the Brower family was embarked on a serene holiday, seeking solace in the rhythmic embrace of the ocean waves. It was April 17, 2017, a day that dawned with promise and the warm kiss of the sun, igniting the azure sky with streaks of gold. Leticia Tish Brower, a spirited 17-year-old with the ocean in her veins, was the heart of this family adventure. Alongside her father, Leon, a man whose love for the sea mirrored that of his daughter, they prepared for an afternoon of surfing, a shared passion that bonded them beyond the shores of time. The Brower family's day was one of laughter and lighthearted banter, with Leticia's mother and sisters weaving memories on the sandy canvas of Kelp Beds Beach. The beach, known for its kelp-draped beauty and rolling waves, had always been a haven for the family, where worries were cast to the sea and joy was harvested from nature's bounty. As the afternoon unfurled, Leon and Leticia paddled into the ocean's embrace, their silhouettes painting a picture of harmony against the vast, undulating canvas. Beneath them, the ocean's depths whispered tales of mystery its inhabitants moving with the fluid grace of ancient dancers. Yet hidden within these waters lurked a predator, unseen and unknown, drawn to the surface by the rhythm of human presence. From the murky depths, a great white shark set its sights on Leticia. This was not the rapid explosive encounter depicted in tales and movies, but a haunting gradual nightmare unfurled with terrifying clarity. As it neared Leticia, Time seemed to dilate, each second stretching into eternity. Leon, witnessing the scene, felt a surge of primal fear and determination. The shark, its eyes devoid of emotion, locked onto Leticia, and in a moment that would etch itself into Leon's memory forever, it struck. The shark's jaws, an abyss of razor-sharp teeth, clamped down on Leticia's leg, the force of the bite a testament to the predator's power. Leon lunged toward his daughter, propelled by a father's instinct deeper than the ocean. He reached Leticia, his hands grappling with the surreal reality of the situation. With strength he didn't know he possessed, he wrestled his daughter from the shark's clutches, its shadow a dark specter in the water beneath them. Dragging Leticia toward the shore, Leon's mind raced with panic and a singular focus – to save his daughter. Behind them, the shark, its attack thwarted, disappeared into the deep, leaving behind a trail of chaos and the shattered remnants of a family's tranquility. Meanwhile, bystanders sprang into action, their hands shaking as they applied makeshift tourniquets in a desperate bid to stem the flow of blood. Amidst the chaos, Leticia's parents refused to yield to despair, their voices mingling with the sound of crashing waves as they performed CPR. An off-duty nurse, her presence a serendipitous grace, rushed to their side, her hands working tirelessly to stem the tide of life ebbing from Leticia's wounds. Minutes stretched into eternity as paramedics raced against time to reach the scene of the attack. Her left leg, torn from the hip by the savage force of the shark's bite, lay mangled and lifeless, a stark reminder of the fragility of life in the face of nature's wrath. Blood stained the water, a grim testament to the price of human folly in the realm of the deep. But despite their valiant efforts, it was too late. Leticia's injuries were too severe, her fate sealed by the merciless jaws of the predator that lurked beneath the waves. Despite their valiant efforts, the grim reaper, cloaked in salt and surf, claimed Leticia.
leaving behind a family enveloped in the cold embrace of grief. Once a source of joy and adventure for the Brower family, the ocean had exacted a toll too grievous to comprehend. In the days that followed, the community of Esperance, united in sorrow, rallied around the Brower family, their hearts heavy with the loss of a young soul who perished in pursuit of her passion. The spirit of Laetitia Brower lived on. A guardian angel watched over the endless expanse of the sea she loved so dearly. And though the depths may have silenced her voice, her memory would forever echo in the hearts of those who knew and loved her. Story 2 In the serene coastal town of Mandura, Western Australia, where the tranquil waters caress the golden shores, tragedy struck on a seemingly ordinary Tuesday afternoon, June 2, 2016. Ben Gehring, a 29-year-old fly-in, fly-out worker and avid surfer, ventured into the waves off Falcon Mandura, seeking solace in the embrace of the ocean that he so dearly loved. His fiancée, Jasmine Boyer, was with him, her pregnant belly a testament to their budding family. Ben and Jasmine had spent the morning strolling along the sandy shores, hand in hand, their laughter mingling with the rhythmic crash of the waves. They had shared dreams of their future, imagining the joy of raising their child in this idyllic coastal paradise. Ben's brother Rick joined them later in the day, and together they enjoyed a barbecue on the beach, the scent of sizzling sausages mingling with the salty sea breeze. On the day of the attack, the azure waters glistened under the midday sun, inviting surfers to test their skills against the mighty ocean. Ben waded into the shallows with his trusty surfboard in tow, a sense of anticipation coursing through his veins. Jasmine watched from the shore, her heart swelling with pride as she watched her beloved carve through the waves with effortless grace. But amidst the tranquility of the sea, danger lurked beneath the surface, an unseen predator lurking in the depths with deadly intent. In a sudden and savage attack, a suspected great white shark set upon Ben with ferocious speed, its razor-sharp teeth tearing through flesh and bone with ruthless efficiency. Jasmine's screams echoed across the beach as she watched in horror, her world crumbling before her eyes. Watching from a distance, Rick raced to the water's edge, his heart pounding with fear as he saw the commotion in the surf. With trembling hands, he dialed emergency services his voice shaking as he relayed the horrifying news. Fellow surfers sprang into action, rushing to Ben's aid as they pulled him from the water, his body limp and lifeless in their arms. With adrenaline-fueled determination, they performed CPR on the beach, their desperate cries drowned out by the crashing waves. But despite their valiant efforts, the damage had been done, Ben's leg severed above the knee his body battered and broken by the relentless onslaught of the shark's attack. With every passing moment, hope dwindled, replaced by a sense of helplessness and despair as Ben's life hung in the balance. Racing against time, paramedics arrived on the scene, their faces etched with grim determination as they fought to stabilize Ben's condition and transport him to the safety of Royal Perth Hospital. But despite their best efforts, the odds were stacked against him his injuries too severe to overcome. Days turned into nights as Ben fought for his life. His family and loved ones gathered by his bedside, their hearts heavy with grief as they watched helplessly, praying for a miracle that never came. And on a sad Friday night, surrounded by the ones he held dear, Ben Gehring slipped away, his spirit soaring free as he departed this world for the next. In the aftermath of the tragedy, the community rallied together to support Ben's family. Their hearts were united in grief as they mourned the loss of a beloved son, brother, and friend. Tributes poured in from far and wide, a testament to Ben's impact on the lives of those around him. As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting a golden glow upon the waves, Ben Gehring's spirit lived on. He was a surfer, forever riding the endless swells of the ocean he loved dearly. Story 3 On July 25, 2015, on a serene Saturday morning, the eastern coast of Tasmania was bathed in the gentle light of dawn, 
casting a tranquil spell over the waters of Mercury Passage. Damian Johnson, a 46-year-old seasoned diver from Kingston, near Hobart, embarked on what was to be a poignant journey with his daughter Olivia, a young woman in her early 20s, both sharing a deep-seated passion for the ocean's mysteries. Their destination was the waters off Maria Island, renowned for its abundance of scallops and the ethereal beauty beneath the waves. The day before had been one of anticipation and preparation. Damien, a husband and father, had spent the evening with his family, sharing stories of the sea and the adventures that awaited. Olivia, carrying the legacy of her father's love for the ocean, listened intently, her eyes reflecting the excitement and respect for the aquatic world they were about to explore together. Andrew Painter, Damien's brother-in-law, recalled Damien as a great bloke, a cautious diver who never took unnecessary risks, especially with his beloved daughter. As the first light crept across the sky on that fateful Saturday, Damien and Olivia set sail, their boat cutting through the calm waters toward Lachlan and Maria Islands. The air was filled with the salty tang of the sea and the quiet chatter of anticipation. They reached their favorite spot, where the water whispered of hidden treasures below and began descending into the incredible embracing depths. With their diving gear secured and hearts full of adventure, father and daughter plunged into the crystal clear waters, the silence of the ocean enveloping them. They moved gracefully, their movements synchronized as they scoured the seabed for scallops. The world above seemed a distant memory as they focused on the task at hand, the bond between them strengthened by the shared experience. She passed unnoticed until a sudden eerie calm descended. Sensing something amiss, Olivia looked around for her father, but he was nowhere in sight. Panic set in as she surfaced, her eyes scanning the horizon for any sign of him. Then she made the harrowing decision to dive back down into the water. What she witnessed next would forever be etched in her memory. A massive shark, its jaws wide open, had taken her father. The ocean's vastness swallowed Olivia's scream as she witnessed the unimaginable. In a desperate bid for survival, she surfaced, signaling for help with a flare that pierced the morning sky. Nearby fishermen and divers, alerted by the distress signal, converged on the scene, their hearts heavy with dread. Together, they hauled Damien's body to the surface by his air hose, a solemn procession that bore witness to the tragedy that had unfolded. Back on shore, the community reeled from the shock, their grief palpable as they paid tribute to Damien, a man who had lived his life with a profound love for the ocean. His family, surrounded by friends and loved ones, struggled to come to terms with the loss. Olivia, in particular, was a portrait of resilience, her strength a testament to the enduring spirit of her father. In the following days, the waters off Maria Island, once a haven of beauty and adventure, became a reminder of life's fragility and the sea's unpredictable nature. Damien's legacy, however, remained unbroken inspiring others to continue exploring the depths to seek out the wonders he had cherished in his lifetime. Story 4 In the serene expanse of Chains Beach, nestled along Western Australia's rugged southern coastline, the early morning sun cast a golden glow over the waters, heralding a day that promised adventure but ended in tragedy. On this fateful day, Jay Muscat, a spirited 17-year-old passionate about the ocean's mysteries, and his close friend, Matt Palella, set out into the azure depths, oblivious to the heartbreak that would soon unfold. Jay, a young man who described himself as just a young salty dog on his Instagram, lived for the thrill of spearfishing and fishing, embracing the wild beauty of the sea with infectious enthusiasm. His friend Matt shared his genuine love for the ocean, and together they ventured into the water, spear guns in hand, in pursuit of adventure beneath the waves. On December 29, 2014, their day began with laughter and lighthearted banter, the air filled with tales of past exploits and dreams of the catch that awaited them. They had planned this outing with the meticulous care of seasoned fishermen. Their gear was checked and rechecked as they sought to escape into the tranquility only the sea could offer. The friends plunged into the ocean as they reached their chosen spot, 
a popular camping destination known for its clear waters and abundant marine life. The water below the surface was a kaleidoscope of color and movement, a place where time seemed to stand still and the worries of the land were forgotten. But in an instant, the beauty of their underwater haven turned to horror. A great white shark, a four to five meter leviathan of the deep, emerged from the abyss, its eyes fixed on Jay. In a brutal act of nature, the shark attacked, its massive jaws clamping down on Jay sealing his fate in seconds. Matt, witnessing the unthinkable, found himself locked in a life-or-death struggle as the shark turned its attention toward him. With adrenaline coursing through his veins, Matt acted on instinct. As the shark bore down on him, he thrust his spear gun forward, firing it into the predator's gaping maw. The spear struck true, and the shark, wounded and disoriented, retreated into the depths, leaving behind a scene of devastation. Matt, who was shaken but unharmed, raced to Jay's side, his heart breaking at the sight of his friend's grievous injuries. The once vibrant young man, full of life and laughter, was now silent, a victim of the ocean they both loved. The aftermath of the attack was a scene of horror and desperation. Matt managed to alert nearby fishermen with a flare his actions a testament to the quick thinking required in such dire circumstances. Together, they hauled Jay's body back to shore, their efforts marred by the knowledge that his injuries were fatal. In the aftermath of the attack, the beach community was enveloped in mourning. Jay, who was remembered as the life of the party and a beloved friend, leaving behind a void that could never be filled. His aspirations, his joy, and his indomitable spirit were snuffed out in an instant leaving those who knew him to grapple with the senselessness of his loss. As the sun set on Chains Beach, the waves whispered a solemn requiem for Jay Muscat. The ocean, which had been his playground and sanctuary, had claimed him in an act of unfathomable violence. Yet in the hearts of those who loved him, his memory would endure, a reminder of life's fragile beauty and the sea's unyielding power. The tragedy served as a stark reminder of the inherent dangers that lurk beneath the waves, a call to respect the ocean's might and to cherish every moment spent in its embrace. For Jay's family and friends, the pain of his loss would ebb and flow like the tide, but the love they held for him would remain as deep and enduring as the sea itself. Story 5 on a day marked by the golden hues of early summer, Campbell's Beach, near Coffs Harbor, New South Wales, was the scene of youthful exuberance and the untamed spirit of adventure. Zach Young, a 19-year-old from Port Macquarie, and his friends embraced the day with the same zeal that had always defined their tight-knit group. Known for his bright smile and infectious love for life, Zach was the heartbeat of their circle, a young man whose passion for the ocean was rivaled only by his dedication to his friends. It was November 30th, 2013, a day that promised perfect waves and clear skies, an irresistible call for those who sought solace in the rhythm of the sea. Zach and his friends arrived at the beach, their spirits high with anticipation. The ocean was their playground, where they found freedom, joy, and a deep connection with nature. As they paddled out, their camaraderie was palpable, laughter and teasing echoing over the water. Zack, astride his bodyboard, led the charge, his eyes alight with the thrill of the chase. The ocean welcomed them with open arms, offering up its treasures in perfect waves that broke just right, a surfer's dream. But the sea in all its majestic beauty also whispers tales of hidden merciless strength. That whispered warning turned into a roar as fate took a cruel turn on this day. Out of the depths, a shadow emerged, a shark, an ancient wanderer of the ocean, its very essence woven with awe and fear. The day's joy was shattered in a heartbeat as the shark struck with terrifying precision. In the prime of his youth, Zack found himself in the relentless grip of nature's raw force. The shark's attack was relentless, leaving him grievously wounded, his legs taken in a brutal testament to the ocean's unforgiving rule. The scene that unfolded was one of sheer terror, painted in stark, harrowing detail. Zack's friends, thrown into a nightmare, 
raced against the relentless pull of time. They dragged him to the shore with frantic urgency, their actions driven by a desperate hope to undo the undoable. Their hands, shaking with adrenaline and fear, worked tirelessly, performing CPR in a frantic bid to keep the spark of his life from fading. Their efforts, a storm of love and desperation, were a testament to their bond. Yet despite their fierce will, the cruel hand of fate pressed down mercilessly. Zack's battle was lost to cardiac arrest, and his vibrant life was extinguished in a moment that would haunt those who knew him forever. In those minutes, time seemed to stand still, each second stretching into eternity, marked by the pounding of their hearts and the crushing weight of realization. Once a sanctuary of laughter and waves, the beach became a silent witness to the depth of their sorrow. As they bore Zack away from the water that had claimed him, the reality of their loss settled like a shadow over their hearts, a wound that time would struggle to heal. Once a place of joy and laughter, the beach became a tableau of grief. Zack's body was carried away, a sad procession that moved in silence, the weight of their loss a heavy cloak around their shoulders. His friends' faces, etched with shock and sorrow, were escorted away, their lives forever changed by the events of that day. As the sun set on Campbell's beach that day, the waves continued to break, indifferent to the unfolding human drama. But the ocean would never be the same for those who knew and loved Zach Young. It would always be where they lost a part of themselves, a reminder of the fragility of life and the bonds that tie us to each other and the natural world. In their hearts, Zach would forever ride the waves, a spirit free and unbound, a young salty dog whose legacy would live on in the stories they would tell and the memories they would cherish. <laughs>